painful. <sighs> oh, did I fuck that up? And then, you know, months later, you see him loving somebody else the way he should have loved you. Woo! <laughs> okay, we are here to listen to Maisie Peters' The Good Witch, the full album, deluxe. I think there's 21 songs. It's a little over an hour. Ah! <laughs> By the way, welcome to Passion Dump of an Autist, where I'm autistic and I share my special interests and passions all over the internet so I can give my real life people a little bit of a break uh, with the info dumping. <laughs> okay, how this came about was I did a video last week where I was listening to all the new Eras Tour openers and Maisie Peters was one of them. I had never heard anything from her. We did two songs. I think, what was it? Let's see. Hold on. So we did Worst of You, and it absolutely destroyed me. It was so relatable. I literally bawled. You can watch the video. Go back and watch the video. It was a good video. And we also did History of Man, which is off of this record, but I haven't heard anything from this album at all. But I loved her. I thought she was amazing. And then I did get a comment on that video to listen to this album, and I was already kind of thinking of doing that. So I was like, okay, that cements it. I'm doing it. So here we are. Here we are. If you like Taylor Swift content, music content, Sims 4, I know, that's out of left field, uh, autism content, I'm also potentially going to be doing some Buffy the Vampire Slayer content, I know, it's all over the place, these are just my interests and the things I want to talk about, and I'm trying to build a community of, like, similar-minded people, so you could like one of those things and you can just subscribe and then just watch the videos that pertain to you, or maybe you'll learn something. If any of those things interest you, hit that subscribe button. I am trying to, to create and build a community of like-minded, nerdy, maybe neurodivergent people, and you don't want to miss out on that. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give me a like. It helps out the channel. Make sure you leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of these songs, or if you have any other album suggestions you want to do, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Okay! I know nothing about Maisie Peters, I know that I like two of her songs, I'm super excited. I do like to look at the lyrics, so we'll, we'll slap the lyrics up and we'll go from there. Sometimes I like to deep dive in the lyrics and sometimes I just like to enjoy the song sonically, so we'll, we'll see how we go. Okay, here we go. So, The Good Witch. This was this was done in 2023. That's a really cool picture. She's clearly gorgeous and talented. So, here we go. This is The Good Witch. Still me here. Do you think I forgot about you? Still upset. But now I'm 22. Let's call this the calm before the storm comes rushing through. And it's Armageddon. Still decoy. Still a good witch with her tea. Still bitter. Still don't play the black key. Still wants to politely and properly warn you. This is Armageddon. Still King's Cross and pulling heart break out of hats. Still argue like my mother and suppress stuff like my dad. Still miss you, but I know now it'll pass. When all I do is think about the past, make it a universe that you can live in. You I'm not saying much, but I'm trying to be so immersed in this. Man, 
Wow. <laughs> that was an experience. Usually I like to stop. I like to talk about the lyrics, but that was an experience and I was just mesmerized the whole time. That ending got me emotional. I know we're not talking about Taylor Swift in this one, but it reminded me of something that Taylor Swift often says, especially when she was promoting her album Red, when she was talking about how the heartbroken just moved through the world differently. It's like everything is slowed down. And it gave me that sense, that end, where like all of her friends and everything, she's got a lot going on in her life. She's got a lot of people in her life that are you know, weighing in and talking to her about things. She's on stage. She's got people chanting Maisie, Maisie. And here she is. And all she can think about is this relationship that she had and it's consuming her. Yeah, I liked that. It was an interesting choice for a beginning of a record. Like I said, it certainly was an experience is what I'll say. Yeah. She's, she's reflecting on who she is now. She's still the same, although I'm willing to bet she's not. That was a really cool start to the record. Okay, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to hear more. Let's do it. Coming of age. Your face and fluorescent looks different in the daylight. Like, was it a love affair or just a lot of late nights? Like, you had the speaking parts, but I guess I was the playwright. Hold on. We'll go back. We'll go back. Don't worry. <laughs> like, you had the speaking parts, but I guess I was the playwright. I don't know. For some reason, it just reminded me of what I've been... It just reminded me of what I've been working through on my own. Um, in many of my relationships, I have dimmed myself, dumbed myself down, made myself not as attractive and things like that because i i was scared myself of kind of really showing exactly who i am and showing up you know with this bright light that i know that i have so i would dim my own light and a lot of the men that i've dated they would take it and run like a lot of men because the world is centered around them and always has been centered around them although obviously there have been huge changes in the last like 50 years, right? I'm not, I'm not saying that there haven't been, but previous to that, um, the world was centered on men and still in many ways is. And so I feel like they would just take that as normal that in the relationship, they were the main character of the story. And I was always a side character and for a lot of it, I was okay with that because I just wanted to be loved and, you know, I, I'm working through those issues now, but I understand why I did that. I just, all I wanted was someone to love me. And so I, I kind of took that and I, like I said, I dimmed myself and I don't know, that reminded me of that. You had the speaking parts, but I guess I was the playwright. A lot of times women are in the background curating situations making things better and sometimes men don't understand that we're doing that we do a lot of emotional labor and i don't know i don't know if that's what it's about but that's what it gave me i know that was a long story for just one line but it just it reminded me of that let's go back a little bit here because <laughs> it was starting to get really really good hey, right. I 
scared the crap out of me the first time though. <laughs> <laughs> what a line! <laughs> Sorry. I love good lyrics. Oh, okay. <laughs> you stole my love and I paid. But you couldn't keep what you couldn't take. So this guy, whether it's immaturity, emotional intelligence issues, he wasn't able to actually really take her heart and run with it. So I think for that, what she means is, you know, he did steal her love however long they were together. You know, she was, she put her love into him. I know I made you the big star. I relate to that so much. I, like I said, uh, yeah, so this is, this is, I think, I think what I was saying in the beginning, what I got from just that one line, I think is what this is about. I think this is her taking her power back because I think she's done something similar to what I've done in many relationships is put him in the center stage and, you know, curate this beautiful relationship for them, but then lose a part of herself and forget about her needs and that she's the star, that she's the main character. and. Here you go, but it's my song. We haven't got there, but I can read it. Um, but it's my song and my stage. Coming of age. Wow. <laughs> I feel like this is a song for me, except I'm 37 and not whatever she is, early 20s. It just took me a little longer, and that's okay. But I completely relate to this. And that's really cool that she's already kind of um, learning these lessons so early on in life. That's great for her. Um, it took me, it took me thirty-seven years to um, just get to this point. So happy to go along the journey with her, and I'm happy that I'm finally uh, learning these things now. <laughs> let's let's party for the rest of this. You the big star, I let you butcher my big heart, yeah. but it's my song and my stage, and it's my coming of age. Yeah, I'm gonna dance around <laughs> in my room to this and it's gonna make me feel really good and empowered. I needed to hear this song, so thank you to the commenter who suggested this album. Is this song in particular I needed to hear? <laughs> Wow. Uh, yes, that was such an empowering song all about taking your power back and not dimming your light for the person in your life. Amazing. <laughs> I need to like move it along because we're going to be here for hours if I, um, you know, just keep doing these deep dives. But I'm, I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. I love doing deep dives. <laughs> Watch. Oh, I love the guitar. Telling the wide web that this is my era Then writing a lot of heartbroken music Nobody actually happy and healthy Has ever felt so desperate to prove it You took a road trip into the mountains I feel like all of my exes have done that It looked like a film my like Coursera would act in And it felt like a face slot It keeps hurting so she's seeing him move on. He, you know, you took a road trip in the mountains. I feel like all of my exes have done that. So what you see from like what people are posting on social media, I'm assuming that's what she's like, you know, looking at his Instagram and he's posting all these like spiritual pictures of him out in the mountains doing all these discoveries and doing all this self-healing, self-reflective work. And she's going, it hurts moving on and bettering himself. Why wasn't he doing that in the relationship, right? 
he wasn't wanting to do that in the relationship but they break up and now all of a sudden he's doing all this healing work and that's the slap in the face right like why why didn't you do this work while we were together that's what i'm getting from it <laughs> someone posts on Instagram isn't necessarily a reflection of how they're actually feeling and especially men men are really good at projecting this image that they don't care and that you know everything's fine when often it's not so I mean this is good for her own healing because she's you know getting out these feelings and eventually she will move on but I just think it's interesting to talk about that you know what you're actually seeing someone on their instagram or whatever is not actually necessarily a reflection of exactly what they're feeling it's just a snapshot of what they want to show you right you're being a superstar but she doesn't know that that one was super sad i do this i do this all the time okay anyways <laughs> let's move on to body better that's cool I've had these kind of thoughts before where, I mean, maybe this is different, but for me, I feel like I am pretty intuitive and I'm also a massive empath. And sometimes I feel like I know what people are feeling before they do, especially if they're not particularly emotionally intelligent which unfortunately does end up being men and it's not necessarily all their fault because this is the society we live in uh we teach boys and men to suppress their feelings and not feel them and not kind of work through them necessarily to just push them down oftentimes when i'm in a relationship i kind of know what he's feeling but he doesn't know what he's feeling so he fucks it up sometimes and then you know he'll come back two years later and be like no i i did love you and you were the best thing uh for me but but you can't tell someone that in the moment even though i feel it even though i know what he's feeling <laughs> you can't tell someone how they're feeling right um so in that way it's a blessing and a curse but 
anyways, it just kind of reminded me of that, you know, she's laying on his chest, she can feel his heartbeat and how she is making him feel, but then, you know, obviously he fucked it up somehow. So annoying. <laughs> Nothing I said and I know I gave you all of myself 100% Now I'm watching you moving on in the beat of a drum So if I never gave you any reason to run Then I, I can't help thinking that she's got a better body Hell, she got a body better than mine And I, I can't help thinking when you touch it with That feeling of a breakup just hurting your own sense of self-esteem. That's happened to me this time around. The breakup that I've been going through has really made me feel bad about myself. I mean, it's good because there I have been self-sabotaging myself for a while and it is time for me to start being the best version of myself and like I said at the beginning of this video not dimming my light for anybody so in that way it's it's good I need this wake-up call but man that feeling of just not being pretty enough or not being sexy enough or sucks being a woman sometimes when your whole life people when it just feels like that's your value that is your only value as a human being, is your looks. But it's not. It's really not. It's got a really, like, catch for us, but it's so sad. The worst way to love somebody is to watch them love somebody else and it work out. You put, especially like she said in the song, she's put 100% into it. You put 100% into a relationship and it fucks up. And then, you know, months later, you see him loving somebody else the way he should have loved you. Hmm. Yeah, this is the album I needed to listen to. <laughs> this is really healing for me. All right, want you back. Oh no. <laughs> Treading water till the minute we met Till you caught a teacher's daughter with a dangerous text I read it like a bible and I wore it like a bulletproof vest Found myself a lover that made everything right Slept under your covers that made everything right Yeah, I was the DJ and the darling of your passenger side So I know That you did bad But if one more person says it, I might go mad yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. What it other didn't say. last. And what was cheap to you to me was all I had. The issue is, I know all of this, and I, I still want you back. Oh, that is. 
Yeah, I know that feeling. What was cheap to you, to me, was all I had. My last relationship, I thought that was it. I was... I was like, I found it. I literally found the one. This is it. Doesn't matter. Whatever hardships we go through, we'll figure it out. Because we love each other, and that's all that freaking matters. But when the other person doesn't actually feel that way, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I, I relate to that because something that was literally everything for me was something that could just be thrown away so easily for another person. How? And she knows. She knows that he's not right for her, but she still wants him back. She loves him. Doesn't matter what everybody else says. They don't feel the way she feels. you did bad but if one more person says it i might go mad it wasn't real it was for me but you know that and i bet you've thrown away our photographs the issue is i know all of this and i i still want you back so hard feeling like that you know it's wrong but you still just like she says if if you called me up and wanted me back i'd be back in a second it's such a vulnerable place to be in but thank god he doesn't want her because god he does not deserve her she's so much better than that how we doing okay the band and i We played heads up in a car in Seattle Got a rock on the radio You look like a superstar And I'm gone into Juilliard And I'm really bad at heads up What do you know? It was Friday that production the drums and the melody it's just that was a feel-good song for me i yeah you're just a boy and i'm kind of a man yes you are maisie
analyzing this. This is what I have to remind myself of all the time, especially while I'm going through my healing from my previous breakup. The relationship wasn't as good as my mind wants me to think it was. Like I said, if he didn't do it, I would have had to do it eventually um, because I was miserable. You know, and he wasn't willing to put in the work and work together to fix things. I was happy and patient as long as he was in it with me doing the work. But he didn't have the energy or the time. He didn't want to put in the work with me. So, you know, <laughs> you know, it's empowering. You won't see what you're giving up till I've already left. She knows. Just a boy and I'm kind of the man. So relatable. I've always known that there's something bigger. I'm going to be a lot more successful than I currently am. Not that there's anything wrong with my life. My life is beautiful the way it is now. But I know that there's so much more to come. And so I relate to her, you know, when she's talking about uh, taking over the world and just having that inner knowing and she's like but I you know I wanted to do this with you I was willing to share all this with you but you didn't see it you didn't see the vision and that's kind of how I feel a lot of the time and yeah I like that lost the breakup oh no <laughs> Last month that I am exhausting and you're not in love Didn't say it in those words But I know how your tone works You're MIA, running so free Calling your ex, forgetting about me But I know you could never Yeah, I know you remember So I'm feeling and I'm dealing with the heart you broke While you do press ups and repress us and take off her clothes oh, I'm hurting, but I'm certain it's still true. I'm the best thing that almost happened to you. I I am obsessing. Right now, I might be a mess. But one day, you're gonna wake up and bullshit. You lost the breakup. Hold on, wait. Smiling, you'll have to face it. I'm the greatest love that you wasted. But by then, I'll be fine. He's she repressed his feelings. Like me, yeah, I just want to dance to this one.
Always better to just go through the feelings and emotions. They're hard, they're uncomfortable. Just go right through them, right? You don't want to repress your emotions and then come back two years later and be like, oh, did I fuck that up? <laughs> oh no. Wendy, I have a feeling this is also going to be relatable as the girl who is always patient and waiting for people to come to my level just have a feeling you like a stone you laughing like a kid you're calling like the future then you closed up like a fist lost my page when you kissed me now i remember the she almost loses her way Cause she followed him after one look You could take me and have a land, baby We could live off of magic and babies But I know the girl that you want And it scares me Behind every lost boy There's always a Wendy Wendy Take a hand and go that he watches Wait until he gets bored And wanders back to the forest Lose the world that you live in Pretend that it's what you wanted It's a life I could have I know She wants you could to take me never let... She wants to grow And progress together In the relationship And he just wants to stay young and stupid and he wants to keep that magic and not actually progress as a human progress as a relationship but what about my wings again that whole idea of dimming your light for someone else waiting waiting for them to come up to your level i'm never doing that again <laughs> Never ever doing that again. I will be with someone who is at my level or I won't be with anybody. I am tired of waiting and being patient. <laughs> I love this song so far. Baby, we could live off of magic and babies. I could love you and wait till you're ready. But what about my wings? What about when? Wendy. Love it. Oh, I love that. What a song. That was so good. <laughs> and again, super relatable. I feel like I could have a nice conversation with her. I feel like we've been through a lot of really similar things in relationships and the way we kind of look at ourselves. Oh my god, there's still 21 songs. Okay, run. Oh my, what happened here? Mm -hmm. He came, he disappeared. He was too good to be true, swore a lot of things like the none of them knew. Dropped words, forgot them overnight. Good thing that I'll think about them up until I die. Mm -hmm. I've been lied to, I've been cut and deleted. I've heard some things that I will leave unrepeated. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bombing. Run. Run. If you have love bombing, if someone tells you you're the best thing that's he's ever seen in his life, and it's been a week, that's love bombing. Run. And it's true. All right, two weeks ago. I wish it was two weeks ago in the room that night. I wish I'd known when you held me tight. Wish I hadn't let go. And I wish it was two weeks ago. I wish we kissed when we first wanted and we didn't miss all the time we did when we said goodbye. Wish I hadn't let go. And I wish it was two weeks ago. You were driving fast, I was holding back, and I loved you, babe, but I bet you knew that the song was true and the sky was black. God, I wish it was two oh, weeks ago. It's so hard. I wish it was I just want to go back and think we can almost change it. Still would have ended the same. You were falling fast, I was holding back, and I loved you, babe, but I bet you knew it that was meant to the be. song was, it was true, me. and the sky was black, but man, it's hard it to get in this ruminating ago. state of and just said, like regretting everything. And you loved me, babe, when you told me that, and the song was true, and the sky was black, God, I wish it was two weeks ago. I was yours so fast, I was scared so bad God, I loved you, babe, did I tell you that? The song was true, now it's all I have And I wish it was two weeks ago mm. oh, That, just sad Thinking, I, w I wish I could have done this I wish I could have remembered this And maybe things would be different It's such a dangerous place to be in what is BSC? I don't think I know what that means. I cut my nose to save some face. You cut your hair and take some space. We don't speak because it's too tricky. But if I'm tricky, why'd you kiss me on the forehead way up north? Press the scar and found the source. If you don't love me, why'd you act it? Love's a verb and not a bandage. And I'm spiritual.
loved that. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> oh, therapy. Okay. Therapy it is. <laughs> Destiny. Having so many things happen to you and you have this trauma and you've shared this with that person and they take you in their arms and say, well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. And to finally feel like you're okay and you don't have to worry anymore. And then to have that ripped, ripped from you and almost like all those limiting beliefs that you have about yourself. And the person that you love the most kind of almost reinforcing those beliefs about yourself that aren't true. It's painful. I feel deeply connected to this song as well. I don't even want to get into it, but yeah. Lost for centuries. You couldn't have loved a girl any harder than you. That line is sticking with me. You couldn't have loved a girl any harder than you loved me, so I couldn't ask anymore. Because she seems very intuitive and very emotionally intelligent. And so he probably shared things with her about, you know, how hard it is for him to, to open up and to, to love her. And she sounds like she's an empath. So it's like she didn't want to inconvenience him for asking for more, asking for her needs to be met because they're not being met right now. But I'm not going to say anything to you because I know you're loving me more than you've ever loved anybody. And I'm going to give you a pat on the back for that, even though you're not meeting my needs. I mean, I've done this in every relationship I've ever had. <laughs> <sighs> back to therapy, therapy. Oh, Lord, I'm going back to therapy, therapy. You swore it somewhere I would never be, never be. So, how come you're taking me from your arms? If you're gone, honey, Loving I can't you sleep. You I'm just talking to your memory. I still love you, but you're taking me from your to therapy, therapy, oh Lord, I'm going back to therapy. That was so good. I loved that one. There it goes. Let's keep it going.
first thing is just letting something go sometimes you know it's right for you but man it's more than that What a beautiful freaking bridge that was. I almost want to listen to the bridge again. That was so good. And exactly what I needed to hear, I'm, as I've talked about, I'm in the process of, I'm in the process of letting things go. And it's a hard thing to do. But when you know it's the right thing, you go through it anyway and you do the work. All right, so History of Man was actually one that I did listen to when when I did my kind of overview of Macy Peters. So we're just going to listen to it and enjoy it, but go back and watch that video. I did some analysis in that one. I'm, I'm probably not going to, because I don't want to say the same things over and over again, but I, I really like this song. Tale as old as honey a moment everybody knows Yeah, I'm sure there was heartbreak Inside the walls of Jericho Man, she stays up He's sleeping like a lamb She begs him He says he doesn't understand She loves him More than anyone ever has In the history The history He stole her Sleeping like a lamb, I beg you, and you don't understand. I hold on, I try to hold your hand. I saved you a so seat, good. and then you say you want to stand, so you lose me. The best you'll ever have, it's the history, yep. the history of me. I mean, that's the big theme, right? We've talked about this over and over again, and that's what's so relatable. Is you know, she's processing this breakup, but she knows he's not. She knows he's let an amazing thing go because, I don't know, he's scared, avoidant. What a listening experience. My final thoughts, themes, at least the ones that I'm picking out, that was basically, it was kind of like a breakup album, but more so... Going through the hard parts of a breakup so you can then pick up the pieces and grow and be empowered and take your power back was more what I got. Even though there was a lot of sadness and a lot of feeling bad about your and having bad self-esteem and being sad that you're not with that person anymore, it was very empowering. A lot of themes of 
her dissecting this relationship and understanding that she deserves better, that she centered him in the relationship where she needs to center herself, believe in herself, fall in love with herself. All amazing themes. She's very intelligent and bright for such a young person. I can't imagine where she'll be in her journey at my age, at 37, because like I said, these are all themes that I'm still working through as a 37-year-old woman, and it's really cool to see a young 20-something kind of be experiencing these things and learning these things about themselves so early on. It's beautiful. That was such a good album. Thank you so much for being here um, during that, and thank you for the suggestion to do this album because that was exactly what I needed to hear today. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a like and come back for the next one. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful week and see you for the next video. Bye.